fourth and fifth grade, I went to Everett Elementary, and that was a really amazing experience. I was a part of the Montessori program there, and getting to interact with different children through different learning experiences was memorable. It's beautiful because there's a lot of different uh, nations represented at Park Middle School, so the diversity was incredible. I got to meet a lot of different people that I wouldn't normally get to meet um, if I was not at a school like that. I was a champion in extemporaneous speaking at state speech and then a semi-finalist in Lincoln-Douglas debate at state debate. So extemporaneous speaking is where you study current events in your free time and collect files and get to know um, basically what's going on in the world. The thing that's interesting about it is it's an unprepared, that's what's called unprepared event, where you don't have a speech written when you go into the tournament. So you draw three questions about current event topics, and then you pick one and have 30 minutes to write a speech on it. And then you give that speech off of memorization. It's so engaging, and uh, it's also just like kind of, you know, grows your brain a little bit. It makes you have to think and uh, really, you know, work out different topics and ideas. Um, I'm the type of person that would rather have philosophical debates with my friends than go to like a skating park or something. So that's for me is really great to be with people that are also similarly minded and want to discuss those topics. Mostly I want to finish off strong and it's kind of bizarre because just to not know that I'm going to come back here next year. Like I'm going to be in school but I'm not going to be here. And it's hard to keep in um, the process of like I just have to finish, I just have to get it done, I have to do well. Uh, but at the same time, I want to cherish these last moments, and for me that means being the student that I've always been and uh, being the friend that I've always been. It's normally met with either a, wait, what? Or a joke. <laughs> so <laughs> I've gotten lots of like pun jokes of like, wait, that's the state or something, or you know, just things that people come up with. But um, the best is typically sometimes, you know, after I explain it, people are like, that's such a beautiful name. And I, you know, for me, that's really great to hear that because I like my name and I, you know, as much as it is kind of weird to live in Nebraska and also be named in Nebraska, um, I think that this is a beautiful state that I'm proud to be named after and proud to be connected to. With personal problems in life, sometimes it's difficult to continue to try it at school or to feel um, like you don't need to be engaged because nobody else cares. And so sometimes you can become apathetic and the fact that I'm still here today, I'm still fighting strong, will mean so much for me to go across that stage and accept my diploma um, with so much more meaning than I finished high school. It means I um, accomplished high school. I was able to be successful, and I will continue that.